Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Hi, I'm Erica from Pittsburgh Fit with your PFGO workout for today. So we're gonna start off with two rounds of 10 med ball deadlifts, 10 med ball squats, and 10 med ball push press. So the entire time through this first part of your warm up, I do not want you to put that med ball down. So. Grace is gonna go ahead and have that med ball between her feet. She's gonna set up for a nice deadlift position. She's gonna hinge the hips, tap the ground, stand right back up. Good. Just like that, she's gonna do 10 of those. Then she's gonna bring it to the goblet position for 10 squats. She's gonna push her hips back, sit down to that squat position, just like so. She's gonna keep that med ball in front of her chest the entire time. After that, she's gonna get a little dip and drive for 10 med ball push press. So dip and drive, use your legs to throw that med ball overhead. You're gonna go through that one more time. The first time through, kind of nice and easy. I don't want you to set the med ball down, um, but I want you to um, go nice and easy through it. The second time through, I want you to pretend you're in a workout and those 30 reps are for time and I want you to go fast. Next up, we're gonna move on to the second part of our warm up. We have passive active hangs, tuck ups, and prone retract push ups. So, if you're at home and you don't have access to a pull up bar, instead of passive active hangs, what I'm gonna have you do are arm circles. You're gonna do 10 arm circles in one direction, then 10 in the other direction. If you're here in the gym, we will go back to the rig and um, the coaches will walk you through some passive active hangs. Next up, we're gonna come on down to the ground for 10 tuck-ups. So, tuck-up is when we bring our knees and our chest together into one fluid movement. Good, just like that. What we don't wanna have is a broken up rep where your chest comes up, then your knees come up, or your knees come up, then your chest comes up. One fluid movement the entire time. After that, you're gonna roll over onto a plank position for 10 prone retract push-ups. Now for these push-ups, what we're looking for here is that your arms stay straight the whole time. They are locked out. But your shoulder blades up here are what are moving. You squeeze them together and then you push them apart. Squeeze them together, pull them apart. That's what we're looking to do for our prone tre retract push-ups. You're gonna go through that one more time before we move on to our strength for today. Our strength for today, we have back squats. So a few weeks ago, we did some, we did a five rep max back squat. We are gonna use that five rep max back squat to, for our percentages today. So we have one set of five at 70%, one set of five at 75%, three sets of five at 80%. And if you are going to be using dumbbells or a kettlebell today, I'm gonna have you double the reps here. So instead of sets of five, you're gonna do sets of 10. Now, back squats, what we're looking for here is that bar is gonna be sitting across the back of your shoulders here. Um, our stance should be regular squat stance. We push our hips back and then we press our knees out to make sure we get all the way below our hips. Our, we want our hips all the way below our knee crease there. Good. Now, something I want you to play around with today are actually two things. I want you to actively think about pulling that bar into your body that helps create tension through your core, but I also want you to focus on your breath. As you go through these reps, I want you to grab your breath at the top, hold it for the entire squat, and then grab a new breath when you get back up. I want you to think that you're going underwater and you have to hold on to that breath the entire time. That'll help create tension throughout your entire lift. So. After you finish up your squats, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our workout for today. We have a 12 minute AMRAP, so as many reps as possible in 12 minutes. My goal for you is to stay moving for all 12 minutes. Now, our rep scheme today is gonna be four, six, eight, 10, so on and so forth. You're gonna move up by two reps every single round for each movement. So we have wall balls, hand release push-ups, and toes to bar. You're gonna go four, 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 six, 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 eight, 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 10, 10, 10, 12, 12, 12, 12 so on and so forth for the entire 12 minutes. If at some point you completely lose track, that's a-okay. Pick your favorite number and go from there. Your goal is to stay moving for 12 minutes, so if you lose track, don't get upset about it, just stay moving. Now, we have wall balls. So if you do not have a wall at your home that you can throw a med ball against or you're not using a med ball, you can do med ball thrusters. So what this looks like is the med ball is right here in front of your chest. You're gonna sit all the way down to your squat, press it overhead. So it's a squat meets a push press, put them together, you have the thruster, everyone's favorite movement. Now, if you're here in class, we'll go ahead and move everyone to the rig where we have wall ball targets and you'll toss that med ball up into the air to hit the target and then that ball will press you back down to that squat. 
As soon as you finish up your wall balls, you're gonna go right into hand release push-ups. So a hand release push-up, we set up just like a normal push-up, but when we come down to the ground, we lift our hands off the ground so there should be some daylight there, and then we press ourselves back up. Now, what I want you to make sure about is when you do this is a lot of times, can you show me a sloppy one where you snake off the ground? Someone's push-ups will look like this. I want you to fight that urge. I want you to try and think about squeezing your belly, keeping your body as one, and not snaking yourself off the ground by peeling yourself off the ground. After you finish up your hand release push-up, you have toes to bar, or you can do tuck-ups or V-ups. Either one is fine with me, whatever keeps you moving. So if you're in class, we'll show you how to do some toes to bar or some hanging knee raises. But if you're at home, you can do V-ups or tuck-ups or sit-ups. And there we go. Nice job, Grace. All right, guys, lots of options to keep you moving in this workout today. Let us know um, how many rounds you get. Have a great workout. Have a great day.